Hello. Welcome to Productions MJC. My name is Mark. The discussion that came up between a gentleman and I was about flat earth math, and I noticed a fail. Uh, I've seen it before. I didn't really understand it. I had I saw several examples and figured out what was going on. Well, when I was going to school, this was the tool. There was no such thing as a calculator. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, even though it says it right on the front of it, it's a circular slide rule. It was the calculator. Now, they they came into vogue about the time I graduated. Well, flat earthers, we were having a discussion about how the sun travels. Doesn't really travel like they say it does. It's a flat, you know, a, a flat path with an arc. Well, it is actually an arc. It travels just like this. But as we were talking along and I was showing them video tricks and how, like, if you slide that coin back on that tabletop, it will look just exactly like the sun disappearing over the horizon. But you have to keep in mind that I put in that black line because the black line is where the center of the camera is. If the ocean was the tabletop, you would be observing the sun set from underneath the water. That's why it would look like that on a flat earth. It doesn't look, uh, you know, it doesn't work. He didn't understand what I was talking about. He didn't even understand simple math. And several flat earth believers chimed in. And I, I might have well have been talking differential calculus to these people. as well. You know, simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It was nuts. And what I found was I had one gentleman... We were talking, and, and look at this. He says the ball earth theory uh, was manufactured and adopted hundreds of years before the first airplane took flight, the year eight, 1482. Well, I said, man, your information is desperately inaccurate because 140 BC, a Greek uh, crates of mollusks made the first globe. I mean, his, his thinking was hundreds of, hundreds of years off you know, centuries off, that, how, how could you even think that way? But he did. And so math just drives the flat earth folks nuts. The flat earth uh, movement seems to be about feelings and belief, and there's no logic, no, no hardcore reality. There's just belief and feelings, and it must be true. Well, this is what's true. See the golden energy there? And here, of course, we see the Hungangan spirit. I'm sorry, I slaughtered that. Anyway, here's the spirit. Well, the spirit's here, but look at this photo. You can't tell that's the spirit because it's gone over the curve, around the edge, and there's the golden energy. I mean, these boats are almost the same. So at a, we were discussing at about nine you know, nautical miles. You could tell the difference you could start to see a curve. So he comes back and he says, you know, no, this is what you're seeing. You're seeing a mirage. It's blocking it. And I'm like, uh, even with that mirage, you still can't see most of that ship, and it's not a mirage blocking the ship. But, of course, you can see there's no mirage effect in here. This is really super clear. And, and of course, we were talking about, he goes, where can you see the curve? It was on this popular video. How high do you have to go to see the curve? And I said between 50, 55,000 feet, you know, and he goes, really? And I said, yeah. If you look at this, I'll explain this real quick. This is from a high altitude balloon. The orange arrow indicates how far the horizon has moved down. When you f see the first part of this video, the camera is on the horizon. And as it goes up, you, the camera doesn't instinctively look down like humans do. The camera looks straight ahead. And so you can see that the, the horizon has actually moved down. And you can see that the smaller black lines indicate the curve of where the GoPro should indicate a flat surface, but it's actually got a little bulge there because it looks like a curve. And when you, this was up quite a bit, but he didn't, you know, math. He didn't understand the math of the whole thing. And what was his point? What was many, many people's point from the flat earth side? Well, 
not knowing how math works, not knowing how a logarithmic progression works, just pushing buttons. These guys don't understand what math is, how it works. It's an exact science. It isn't a feel-good science. You can't. You have. If you take a thousand people and ask them what two plus two is, the people that don't say four are wrong. It's not a feel-good science. And so we look at this. And I told him, I said, you know, back in the day before you had artificial horizons that were all electronic, people had to calculate. This is the flight computer. And it calculates curvature and everything else. But they don't understand it. They say, well, no, you don't calculate curvature. You just put the destination into the electronic controls. And 747, 757s, 787s, 737s, they all fly themselves. The pilots don't do anything, really. But they used to have to do everything, even include curvature of the Earth when they were flying. They had to reason it out. If they, if they had to calculate the curvature of the Earth to make sure they got to the right spot, there must be curvature. Reason has to step in. Well, a nautical mile, getting back to our, our discussion of how high you have to go to see curve, a uh, nautical mile and a real statute mile don't really relate at all. But there's the difference, you know. There, there is a little bit uh, longer bit in a nautical mile. Well, so I said 55,000 feet, and I also said that when a ship gets out there about nine miles, you'll be able to see the difference. And he kept saying, you mean a mere nine miles? You can see the curvature, you can supposedly see a boat disappear at 9 miles, yet you have to go 55,000 feet in the air. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, wait, 9 miles. All you have to do is go 9 miles, and you can supposedly see curvature because of this right here. But you tell me a balloon goes up 55,000 feet, and you can barely start to see curvature. Um, they're, they're the same. They're the same thing. Nine nautical miles is about 55,000 feet. Not even catching a clue. The guy is like clueless. And then other people chimed in. You're crazy. They can't do the math. They, they just honestly could not do the math. I'm like, it's simple math. You know, grab yourself a converter off the internet if you don't believe it. And they, this was just blowing their mind. 55 cannot equal 9. All they could see is, you say a boat supposedly after 9 miles, you can notice that it's, that it's way down. It's not just in a trough like that one that was 7.7. .7. You can think maybe it's in a trough. But at 9, you're, you're right there. And yet you have to go up in a balloon 55,000 feet to see it. How come so high? Um, that's 9, nine miles. <laughs> you know, they don't see it. They can't do math. They fail. It's a. It's not a feel good. It's not how, you know, emotions and feelings and belief and everything. You don't believe that two plus two equals four. Two plus two equals four. That's it. And so yeah, they just no comprehend. Zero. They get absolutely nothing from math. You try to explain math to them, they don't understand it. They just don't get it. This is all they see. The 55 is so much bigger than 9 that you must be nuts. Well, people, I know you can't see it, but they're the same thing. Well, thanks for watching, but uh, I've noticed as I go back and look at my comments, time and time again, they don't get the math. It just, it's too, you know, they, the and the flat earth people who make presentations, they couch the math. They constantly mix up the two numbers and they overemphasize the 55,000 feet to go up and see curve and then how tiny nine miles is. You know, they, they use uh, little mind games with the people that are watching their stuff. 
Now with me, I, I just lay it flat out there. I explain it pretty plain. Please like and subscribe, share the links to my videos, spread the word, keep the truth flowing. Maybe some of these folks will actually get it someday that 9 does equal 55. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This has been Mark with Productions MJC.